I would start off with there were some amazing moments, literally all night long. There were a lot of amazing moments, and we had to do some shuffling. Uh, we had to move some people around, and the depth was shown by people being able to step in and truly deliver. I can't say enough to really how we started and how we finished, because the energy and the momentum was there the entire night. The ladies stayed in the Bama bubble like we asked them to do, and they really just did a great job in being able to make any kind of adjustments that we needed to. And we talked a lot about you should have confidence because you are prepared. And what we saw today is what we see in practice on a regular basis. But we still have room for improvement and we still have more to grow. And I do have to say that Oklahoma is obviously number one in the country for a reason. And they did, I, I don't watch other teams, but I'm assuming they had a really great meet based on the score. And I'm looking forward to looking at what we have done and how we can get better because this team is awesome. Um, you know, it's always fun being back in Coleman. The fans were great tonight. I, you know, we feed off of that energy so much. And it was just great to be back at home and, you know, build off of that score from last week. And I think, you know, we started off great last week, although it was a loss. You know, we still had a great score. So just to be able to build off of that from last week was a lot of fun in front of our home crowd. I was so excited just being out there for the first time. Um, it was something – that I've dreamed about for my whole from <laughs> for my whole life, and it was just a dream come true. And I'm so excited that I could do it with this team because they are so special to me, and they are my absolute family, and I love them so much. I love you. Um, I kind of just. Oh wait, can you hear me? <laughs> um, I kind of just try to stay in the moment. Um, you know, we've been in the arena before, so I've touched this equipment. I, I know the beam, and I kind of just shut everything out, and I concentrate on just what I'm doing, and I concentrate on the girl that's behind me because it's all for her. And, um, you know, my team, even though I've only been here for three weeks, has, <laughs> has taught me, um, you know, with everything you got, put it all out there. So that's kind of what carries me throughout my beam routines. <coughs> Uh, I hope so. I'm just dealing with some nicks here and there. So, I mean, I, I know this team's got my back every time. So, wasn't even doubting it. They did a great job. And we'll see what happens. As freshmen, did y'all realize when Taylor sat in here that the, the team score tonight was higher than any score that you got last year? And how did that feel? The entire season? Yeah. Correct. Yeah. Wow. Second year. Word. No, um, yeah, we didn't. No. We kind of just, like Dana said, we have our Bama bubble and we don't look at the store scores. We focus on, you know, everybody doing their job and being confident in what they do so that they can bring it back to the team. And um, although scores are important, you know, what matters is the work that we put out there. So that's what we focus on the most. We had no clue that it was the highest score that we've gotten since last year. so amazing. I don't even really have words. Um, I've always, like I said before, I've just always dreamed of these moments and for it to finally come true and just waiting this long for it to happen and to have my team by my side, it just makes it all worth it and it just makes me love this sport 10 times more and <laughs> I just, I'm just so excited and blessed to have this here for me and, you know, <laughs> my girls. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> it was really cool, though. <laughs> I love it. Oh, my gosh. Um, you know, before I was an elite and, you know, you weren't used to that huge, like, team aspect. Everything was so individualized. So being able to come be a part of a team and have, like, that togetherness factor was just amazing. And it, like, warms my heart. And I just love it.
Yeah, after uh, Luis went on beam, I actually said, she's three weeks old, you know, so <laughs> it's amazing. I can't even imagine how overwhelmed she, her and both Ella were coming in, having three weeks under their belt, but these freshmen have handled everything so amazing, so I'm excited for the rest of the season. Thank you. Thank you. The freshman class has a level of athleticism that can win a national championship. And I think what you see is that they have a lot of confidence in the way that they compete and move. And it was a big step. Ella Burgess, you know, at, after last week, I think her pride was hurt a little bit because she fell twice and she's a little bean queen. And then to see her come back this week, I was impressed with that. You know, like uh, Louisa shared, less than three weeks they've been here and they've transitioned really well. They have a lot of respect for the upperclassmen and they're really listening to them. So when you have a team that all buys in and they're all on the same mission, there is almost a synergistic effect that starts to take place. And so I can't speak enough to their work ethic and what they're bringing to this team as far as the consistency that we are gonna need to become a better team and to be able to compete at the national level. We had a system and a mentality from the summer that we knew we needed to start stronger. So now the key is, can you maintain this kind of strength and sustain it all the way to April? And so we have a, a strong plan, but we had intentions on being able to be one of the most fit teams in the country, which I am very proud of the way our ladies have handled it, endurance-wise, strength-wise. We wanted to be a team that would be polished and classy, and I see that. I will say that Leotard was rather gorgeous. Yes. But I also feel that from the top to bottom on this team, they get it. And, you know, you use last week to, as fuel. And I believe they really did a good job in training this week to be able to walk into our home arena and, and do a great job tonight. But I'm excited for the freshmen, but I'm also excited to see Griffin James, who's a sophomore, get out there on floor and just do even a better job than she did last week. So there were steps in progress there. I love seeing Shea Mahoney just be free and training and, and competing the way she's really capable of. And it's taken us four years for her to get that to that place. And so that growth that you see in their maturity is just amazing to me. And, you know, Lexi is one of the toughest athletes you will see. And I had to pull her aside and literally I'm like, if it hurts, you have to tell me because I knew she would want to push and she wasn't going to do it for herself. That's what's so beautiful. They're doing it for each other. And I love seeing that. I think we're a dynamic team. I think that we have four events we can put together. We definitely, you know, started on vault with big vaults and better landings. But as you see, if, if you don't have those 10-0 start value vaults, those little half a tenths add up very quickly. But at the end of the day, I am so impressed with how they just continued to go all in. And that was something the seniors asked all of them. They said, you know, with all you got. And they started that at lunch. With all you got, be humble. With all you got, do your job. With all you got, don't make excuses. With all you got, you know, don't apologize for being great. And I just want them to use this and know and believe that there's more in them. And if we are consistent over time, we'll let, we'll let that all play out. But I'm very excited for them.